I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm ready. You was born ready, wasn't you? I guess so. Hey, it's uh, July the 3rd. We're in uh, Troutman, North Carolina at the uh, fireworks. We're going to go in. We haven't ate supper. They've got food trucks in here. So we're planning on going in and getting some food. We don't know what to have. Uh, there was a laundry list of, of uh, vehicles, but we didn't look up the vehicles and see what they had. Uh, we're going to pick something out, and if uh, they don't have anything we like, uh, Tony's going to go back up. Well, I'm going to have to walk up to uh, uh, Tony's taco truck and get tacos off of him for her. I know they'll have something here because they have Village Inn pizzas here, so they'll at least have that. They got some ice cream and some shaved ice. Whip around and show them the parking situation right now, Tony. Is the parking situation. We come in the entrance and then usually we park to the right, but they've got parking spots over here now to the left. And there's still some openings here for people, but it's just slow going. If I had to guess, uh, it will be torturous getting out of here tonight. Yeah, it's gonna be packed. As you can see, it, it's already packed. There's parking, people parked across the street at the Dollar Tree. And we're parking right here. That's probably true. It's still sound pretty cool. You can buy me a boat. You can buy me a truck. You can buy me a Cars are still piling in. Fireworks don't go till 9.30, it said. It's uh, probably 7.30 now. It's so about two hours early. There's the entertainment to the fireworks go off. I think there's a DJ coming on later, too. right over there and over here is a welcome to the village inn so this is pizza and then this is the truck it's got a pretty good line as well they've got like a little video screen showing what they've got i'll walk over there and try to get you there Beef tacos, and Philly cheese, and Cuban fried chicken sandwiches. Just continuing to walk around the fairground. It's my first time actually being inside the fairgrounds, and probably wouldn't have been here today if uh, Tony's back was not messed up. So we parked as close as we could. Not back, surgery after, after surgery. Corn on the cob. You can get Mexican street corn on the cob right there. Five dollars, that looks like the cheapest line. Shortest line. And probably the cheapest food too. And over here you get funnel cakes and pork skins it says pork skins on that end and uh, funnel cake too there. Then uh, there's Italian ice over there. Lesmeary ice cream. Vanilla, chocolate, strawberry, cookies and cream, cookie dough, black cherry, mint chocolate chip, moose tracks, birthday cake. They got uh, two inflatables down over here. And there's the line for them. Pretty, pretty long. All right, I'm gonna walk around and show you the food options they have here today. It's a 
Ken's Amazing Bakery. And then over here is Mullins Madness. I bought the pick off of these guys, I believe. Maybe not. Wood Park Port. It's a nice long line. And there's uh, all the people in the fairgrounds. It was a uh, free entry into the. Uh, there's Vivian's rocking sections. Let's go see what they have. Onion chops, cheese, and rockin' sliders. It's like 20 bucks. 10 bucks for nachos, 7 bucks for tacos. I'm gonna talk real loud and try to keep you getting a copy of Strike right now. But I was wanting to show off the fine girl, fine dancing that these people are doing. And uh, if, uh, if if it does get copyrighted, I'll just uh, edit it out. They've run out of barbecue, beans, corn. They made extra barbecue, they said. They run out of everything. So I'm waiting on fries and baked beans, I think. Alright, we got fries and baked beans. And the reason we got that is because that's the only thing they had left. And Tony's complaining about the fries being hot. I'm not complaining, I'm just saying I can't eat them quite yet. Complaining. Say hi, Donna. Say hi. Say hi, Thelma. You may notice Thelma. We featured her earlier. She was dancing.
Nah, you're good. You're not that tall. Just got back from fireworks down in our local hometown of Trotman. Tony's first outing since her surgery. Yeah. How'd that go, Tony? Um, it was okay. I, I got a little uncomfortable at times. I brought the lounge chair so I could lay down versus staying sitting up. But the lounge chair I got, I kept wanting to just slide down. <laughs> So, I don't know. I think I would have been better off in a regular chair. I had a regular chair. I could have went out and got you a regular chair. It would have been all right. I didn't want you to do that. Food was a disaster at this event. Just a disaster. They needed more vendors. I know the vendors don't want to hear that because they want to make all the money themselves. Lines was outrageous. Uh, they run out of food. Terrible. They also needed a little more activities, maybe some cornhole bow, bow boards, boards. <laughs> cornhole, cornhole boards, boards, maybe some games to play. I don't know, batting cage or you know something. They had a bouncy house for the kids. Yeah, maybe uh, some uh, vendors selling some whatnots would have been uh, helpful. Uh, yeah. Maybe some Jenga boards, big giant Jenga boards. An MC, some clowns. All this would have been uh, more activities for your family. Fireworks were boom. They had face painting. Tony enjoys the fireworks. That's the reason why we went. I love, love the fireworks. I just, I just do. Traffic was terrible too. We knew it was going to be though, but yeah, it was bad. But we knew we had to park close for her because she just... She's just now not walking like a grandma. Yeah. I'm still slow, though. <laughs> I'm only just a little bit faster than that. So, yeah. Uh, for
food was uh, expensive, of course, it always is at these events. But I was really wanting some barbecue. That, that's, that's the line we was in. Straight, straight fries, that's all I got. They run out of everything. All right. Yeah. Well, we got more events coming up the rest of this week. I'm Kenny. I'm Tony. And we would like you to like, share, and subscribe. And what is your favorite 4th of July song? I'm going to go with Boom Boom. That's not a 4th of July song. Blame it on the Boom Boom. Tell me that ain't a 4th of July song. I'm telling you, it ain't a 4th of July song. Being Wells, if you watch this, tell her it's a 4th of July song. Don't get me wrong. I would love to hear it on 4th of July. All right. Well, we got an early wake-up call tomorrow because we got another video coming at you tomorrow, tomorrow day. It's almost like I'm doing a daily vlog this week with the code oranges and the 4th of July stuff going on. So until next time, next adventure, until the next adventure, I'll get my own catchphrase right. Horns up. Juicy!